how exactly this Facebook movement or this online uh, pushback against the stadium plan translates into real action uh, at City Hall. I want to bring in Taryn Cochran. He's a communications and marketing specialist joining me live this morning. Good morning, sir. Hi. First of all, you saw those poll results. Um, do, you know, how accurate is that or, or how much do these actually translate into actual public opinion, what people are saying online? I think it's hard. I think it's hard to actually get people online. I think it's easier for people online to actually have a decision and, and make a decision not based on what else they see online. And I think to actually get people into an auditorium or into an environment where they have, have a say and physically get them down is a lot harder. But I think you can do that by explaining to people what a common mistake in social media is the why. Why is this happening? Why are people against it? And once you get all the information, once people are informed, they'll be more apt to actually to attend an event. Is that maybe why people aren't actually coming down because they're only reading into a snippet of the picture or they're only reading tweets about the stadium or only reading brief mentions on Facebook? I think so. And I mean, I think that the common issue we have from both that, from positive and negative is the fact that we just need more information. I mean, we need the people that are upset to tell us why they're upset. We need the people that are, that are for it to say why they're for it. And I think from everybody's angle, we just need to get more informed and we're, uh, the, the great thing about social networking and social media is that it's community, right? And we all need to talk together and get organized and, and get together in, in a sense of, of what we want to accomplish. For. Quickly, is there a certain uh, intimidation factor of people actually taking their voice from the online world into the real life world in city, at City Hall? I think for some people, yeah. I think for some people it's easier to sit behind a computer and, and get upset about something. It's, it's easier to sit behind a computer and, and, and praise something. but. Yeah, there is a little bit of intimidation. I'm sure a lot of people, it's family and it's time, and it's outside of that digital realm. When you get into your home life, can they make it down? Can they do stuff like that? But on the same token, I mean, if you're, if you're very invested in something, you should make an effort, especially if you're very strongly opinionated, opinionated about something, you should make an effort to actually come down. Taryn Cochran, appreciate your input this morning. Thanks yeah, very welcome. much. Hello, that's Taryn Cochran. He is a communications and marketing specialist joining us live from City Hall. And of course, once again, that meeting goes at 5.30 tonight. Nine delegations expected to speak on that memorandum of understanding between the city, the province, and the Saskatchewan Rough Riders.